Hello class, we are now in module 2 in the subject Applied Economics. So in this module, we will discuss about the business environment. So the business environment, it includes all internal and external factors that can affect the business performance and functions. It includes employees, customers, management, supply and demand, business regulations, and competition. But before we will proceed to our formal discussion, we will have a pretest first. So I prepared five questions for our pretest. Don't worry, I will not uh, collect or record your score in this pretest. Just answer these following questions in your mind, or you may also um, comment down below your answers. So, first, it is a process of identifying the internal and external elements that affect the organization's performance. A. Business analysis. B. Business environment. C. Environmental analysis. And D. Environmental scanning. So the answer is D. Environmental scanning. Okay, next question. It includes all internal and external factors that affect the performance of the company. It, it, it includes all internal and external factors that affect the performance of the company. A. Environmental analysis. B. Environmental scanning. C. Business analysis. And D. Business environment. So the answer is letter D, business environment. Now let's proceed to number three. These factors are controllable by the management. A, micro environment. B, macro environment. C, internal environment. And letter D, external environment. So the answer is letter C, internal environment. Now let's proceed to question number four. These factors are beyond the control of the management, however, have a great impact on the performance, decision making, and strategy of the business. Letter A, external environment. Letter B, internal environment. Letter C, macro environment. And letter D, micro environment so the answer for question number four is letter a external environment and for our last question it is a strategic tool to identify the external and internal environment letter a environmental analysis letter b environmental scanning letter c business analysis and letter D business environment so the answer is letter A environmental analysis so those who got the perfect score congratulations and now let's proceed to our uh, formal lesson so first we will discuss about the uh, definition, the background of business environment. So business environment, it includes again all internal and external factors that can affect the business performance and functions. It includes employees, customers, management, supply and demand, business regulations, and competition. So every business organization has a internal environment and external environment so for this organization to be successful it is important to study its environment regularly 
This is to assess any developments and understand the factors that can con contribute to its success. So we also discuss about the environmental scanning and the environmental analysis. So the environmental scanning is a process used by the organizations to monitor their external and internal environments. So the purpose of the scan is to identify opportunities and threats that affects the business. So as part of the environmental scanning process, the organization collects all the information regarding its envir environment and analyzes the impact of changes in the market. And another important keyword also is the environmental analysis. So the environmental analysis is a strategic tool in assessing the level of threats or opportunities that might affect the business. This eventually helps the management team to make better decision. So we will study now the um, business environment in this uh, graph. So in business environment, again, there's an internal environment and external environment. So the internal environment of the organization consists of factors that are controllable. Again, factors that are controllable by the management. As this uh, figure shows that the internal environment of the organization consists of various elements like the value system, mission, vision, goals, objectives of the organization, structure, uh, we also have a culture, quality of employees, labor unions, technology capabilities, and etc. So these elements lay within the organization and any changes to them can affect the overall success of the business. And we also have the external environment. There are two elements in the external environment, the micro environment and the macro environment. These environmental factors are beyond the control. Again, these environmental factors beyond the control of the business, but they still minimize the impact if the business has an effective strategic plan. So first, we will discuss about the micro-environment factors. So there are four environmental no factors back, within back, back. the micro-environment. So first, the suppliers. The suppliers can control the success of the business when they hold power. So the supplier holds the power when they are the only or the largest supplier of the goods in the market second one resellers market intermediaries middlemen or resellers have a great contribution to the delivery of the products to the ultimate consumers for example if the reseller has a reputable name then this reputation can be leveraged in marketing the product we also have customers a customer is an individual or business that purchases goods or services. Customers are important because they drive revenues. So without them, businesses have nothing to offer. Most public-facing businesses compete with other companies to attract customers, either by aggressively um, advertising their products or by lowering prices to expand their customer bases and lastly competition those who sell the same or similar products and services as your organization is called competitors so the presence of one or more competitors can reduce the prices of goods and services as the companies attempt to gain a larger market share and we also have the micro environment factors so there are six macro environment factors 
So number one, political factors. So these are about how and to what degree a government intervenes in the economy. So it includes government policy, political stability or instability in overseas markets, foreign trade policy, tax policy, labor law, environmental law, and trade restrictions. And we also have economic factors. Economic factors have a significant impact on how an organization does business and also how it is profitable. So these factors include economic growth, interest rates, exchange rates, inflation, disposable income of consumers, and businesses. And we also have social factors. This include the shared belief and attitudes of the population. So these factors are population growth, age distribution, health consciousness, career, attitudes, and so on. And we also have technological factors. Technological factors affects the management and marketing in three ways. New ways of producing goods and services, new ways of distributing goods and services, and lastly, new ways of communicating with the target markets. Number five, environmental factors. These factors have become important due to the increasing scarcity of raw materials, pollution targets, doing business, and ethical and sustainable company. And lastly, the legal factors. It includes health and safety, equal opportunities, advertising standards, consumer rights and laws, product labeling, and product safety. So it is clear that the companies need to know what is and what is not legal in order to trade successfully. Okay, so this is the end of module 2 about the environmental factors. So I was, uh, we'll just have to reflect on these sayings by Jane Goodall. You cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference and you have to decide what kind of a difference you want to make. Okay, thank you for listening and don't forget to answer the evaluation quiz or the post test of this module. Thank you.